racing first started, it started off as a general melee. People would pick a spot that didn't have to be a particular town or anything, but say a crossroad between two towns. And whether you approach from the north or the south to this particular crossroads, just determine what team you're on. And there could be a hundred men on the field at any one point doing the fighting. And yes, that got pretty brutal. They tried not to kill each other at that point because if you captured him and took his horse and his armor, you could hold him to ransom. And you could get uh, a vast quantity of men at this and several professional jousters made a living just by capturing their opponent and not killing them and holding their gear for ransom. Uh, a well-trained war horse, or Destrier, was worth uh, several hundred gold solidi mm. and a suit of armour the same. It was the equivalent to about a year to two years wages for a suit of armour. Yeah. So in today's terms maybe eighty to a hundred thousand dollars for a suit. So it was sort of a joust map in a sense. You'd it was indeed. Yeah. Astonishing. So these guys are doing it for fun, um, they're not professionals, they're amateurs, incredibly skilled though. I'd just like to remind the crowd that if these guys make it look easy, that's simply because they're very, very good. Same as the pilots you saw above you, doing precision work with the greatest of ease. It's not because it's easy, it's because the men doing it are very, very good. And woman. We haven't got our uh, full complement of judges and scorekeepers here today. Otherwise, I'd be getting an instant feedback from the field as to who scored what and who did what to who and who got paid for it. And the suits of armour are as they would have been? The suits of armour are perfect replicas of uh, the existing ones. You can either make it yourself or you can spend up to $15,000 on a suit. Ooh, good break there from Sir Callum. He'll get a three-pointer for that. Now, Callum, you'll see, isn't dressed in the big shiny thing. He's got what looks like a decorated red velvet coat. Yes. Um, it is red velvet on the outside. It is, in fact, a series of steel plates sewn in between two layers of cloth. It's called a coat of plates. He has his breastplate over the top of that. But the main armour is what's called a coat of plates underneath. There's nothing on the back because when you're jousting from the front, well, it's just jolly damn unchivalrous. So it's obviously means it's extremely difficult to hit the man in the back as you're going past. Good hit from Sir Callum there. He'll pick up at least two points from that, if not more. One point maximum for Sir Graham. 